Hello, my name is Michelle Simon, and I'm an application engineer here at Serotech. Today, I'll be going over assigning a surrogate for workflow tasks and completing those tasks as a surrogate. So starting off, I've logged in here as Ed. Ed knows that starting today and until tomorrow, he will not be available. So he will assign a surrogate user to stand in for him and complete any tasks that are necessary. To assign a surrogate, we'll go to Ed's profile. And under this My Surrogate section here, we'll click on Add Surrogate. Here we can specify how long we'll need to have a surrogate for. So knowing that um, Ed will be unavailable from today until tomorrow, this is the time period he's choosing. And then we'll go ahead and choose who to actually be the surrogate. In this case, it will be Dawn. So now Dawn is officially Ed's surrogate for today and tomorrow. Now let's go ahead and create a scenario where Dawn will need to step in um, and, and perform a task for Ed. So logging in here as Mary, Mary has an item that she wants to kick off into a workflow and then assign it to Ed. So here, Mary is about to assign who is going to do the review. Let's say Ed is the default person to take this task and Mary has no idea that he's out of office. So we'll go ahead and assign it to Ed. And now the task will be will have been assigned to Ed. It will appear in his inbox, but he's out of office. Um, so typically the task would be stuck right there. We'll go ahead and look at what it looks like from Don's perspective. Don is aware that he's Ed surrogate and Ed is out of office. So he's going to be checking his inbox. He's gonna look at the surrogate tasks tab here and we'll see the task that Mary assigned to Ed. Right now, he's not able to do anything with this task. He's not able to approve of it. And so he'll have to go into manage and then stand in for this task. Now that he's standing in for this task, he can claim it, he can approve of it or reject it. He can also decide maybe he wants to reassign it to somebody else. But for now, everything looks good, so he's going to go ahead and approve of this task. Now once that's done, I can go ahead and search for that item here. And we can see the task was completed successfully. I can go to the workflow tab. We can see that Ed was supposed to perform the sign off, but instead the actual performer was done. And now that the workflow has been completed, the appropriate release status was made as well. And that concludes my video on assigning surrogates and completing tasks as a surrogate. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and have a good day. Thank you.